Welcome to the next video on Visual Basic. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a scoring system to the little quiz we set up last time. What we're going to do is that when the user returns to the main form, so this form that we're on at the moment, I want them to see whether they scored anything or not. To do that we need somewhere to show the user what they got so we're going to add a label. I'm going to drag it into place, doesn't really matter where it goes and of course the first thing we're going to do is rename it. Since it's a label it'll be LBL and what's it going to do? Well it's going to show the score so show score. That seems like a sensible name for this label. You can also do other things to the label of course. Uh, in this case to ensure that you can see what's happening more easily I'm going to increase the font size but that is all we need to do. The next problem happens on the form that we came from. You remember that on the quiz form we used the check button to check whether our answer was correct. Well we're going to do away with that button now. So here's the check button click and I'm going to get rid of that piece of code. So just highlight it and press delete. Let's go back to the design. I also won't need that button anymore so I can delete that. Because what we're going to do is make the exit button do the work. Here's the exit button click and you see that what we set up the program to do was just to hide this form. But before it does that we can make it do some work. I'm just going to enter a blank line and then there I'm going to say if opt yes dot checked then and you'll remember we did exactly the same thing in the previous video we wanted to see whether the opt yes was the one that was clicked if it has been clicked what we want to do is to add one to score but there's going to be a problem and I'm going to show you how to get over that what we want is score to be equal to score plus one. Let me explain that. It's quite obvious that when the program starts your score will be zero. If your score is zero you want to be able to add one to the score every time the correct answer is checked. Now what this will do is make the score equal to 1 the first time we check that button. But there's a problem. If I come off that line you'll see that score doesn't exist. Score is not declared. Well what we could do is put a dim score as integer into the button exit click. That would work fine. But then the score isn't going to be available when we get to form main. That's called scope. Scope is where a variable cannot be seen if it's not in or above the current module. So here the current piece of code is this subroutine button exit click. If I put dim score in here those problems will go away. but the program won't work. If I do it like that form main will not understand that score exists. What I have to do is to make score available to both forms and the way you do that is by adding a module. A module is a block of code that sits above all the forms. So to add that I'm going to go to first ideas over on the right here and right click. So I right click, add and then module. 
and it will eventually add the module. I can obviously rename it immediately. We don't want it called module one. That would be a silly name for a module. But what this does is it gives us an overview. So I'm going to call it overview. I'm going to add that. And in here, I'm going to create a variable that's public. In other words, can be seen anywhere. It's the module equivalent of dim. And what I want is a score as integer. Score as integer, that's OK. And you'll notice that all the errors have now gone. That program will run. It'll calculate the score, but unfortunately, it won't show it. For that, we need another little trick. I'm going back to form main. And this form is going to show us the score when we return to it. So, double click on the form, not on the label, on the form. And the form load opens. But we don't want it to be in form load. We want it to happen any time that that form is accessed. So, what I'm going to do is to choose the activate event. When the form is activated, a certain piece of code will run. So let's try changing the label. LBL, and you'll notice show score has already come up, dot text is equal to, well what do I want the text to be? I want it to be your score is in quotes and then I want to have I want to add on to the end so hence the plus sign score but score is an integer integers and text are not the same thing and we can only work with if everything is the same on the right hand side of the equal sign. So what I have to do is to change that to string. That's now text. And onto that, your score is plus, quote, space, points. Now, whenever this form is activated, it will put up the message, your score is, whatever you've scored, points. Let's see that run. We'll save first. Saving is good in all forms of life. And it says your score is zero points, which is exactly what we would expect. If we go to quiz and click on the obviously correct answer, since Visual Basic is easy, click exit, and it says your score is one point. Let's go again, and we'll keep the answer the same. Your score is two points. Every time it sees that quiz form and we get the answer right, we get an extra point. We've now completed this video, and as you've seen, we can put variables into a module, and that module sits above all the forms. By sitting above the forms, any variables declared in there can be seen on every form. Well, I hope you got something out of this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.